Hello everyone and welcome. In today's video I'm going to be talking about whether it is worthwhile for iOS device users to upgrade to Apple's latest iOS 12. Um, iOS 12 was made available on September 17th, 2018 uh, and can be basically downloaded by any more recent iOS devices dating as far back as the iPhone 5S, iPad mini 2, iPad Air 1 and iPod Touch 6 generation and of course any models after those ones um, are fully supported by iOS 12. Now uh, iOS 12 of course like any other iOS update that comes out um, brings with it a whole host of new features and enhancements um, which unfortunately I'm not going to cover in this video um, because the one that I really am concerned about is the emphasis on performance and optimization, which Apple said iOS 12 was all about. And so what that really means is that rather than upgrading to a latest iOS version and then progressively slowing down older legacy devices, that Apple has taken a slightly different approach to make things work faster, better, and more efficiently without taking a hit on battery life or using too much CPU um, resources. And so what we have here are two iPhone 6S Plus phones. So they are three years old, originally shipped with iOS 9, and one, the one on the left here is a iPhone 6S Plus 128GB running iOS 11.4.1 while the phone on the right is the same exact phone but upgraded to iOS 12. And so my understanding is that you know Apple has all sorts of claims and benchmarks saying that you know it's up to four times faster or two times faster and five percent faster here and I have no logical way of testing this in my home nor do I want to because really I'm just an end user that cares about not bricking their phone with the latest iOS. So diving right in, both phones are powered down. Uh, before I shut them down, I closed all the apps, I've closed all the Safari windows um, so that we have a relative similar baseline, if you will, when we're doing this test. So boot up tests, we're going to start out with this, starting the phone up and seeing which one loads up faster. So iOS 12 should be loading up here into the UI right now. And then iOS 11 typically will follow anywhere between seven and 10 seconds behind. So in this case, it wasn't too bad. It was about five seconds slower. Um, you know, both of them also are running on the same Wi-Fi network and they are also on the same cellular carrier, if that makes any difference. Now, as far as like say response times go, um, both phones are very responsive. iOS 11 never had an issue on the iPhone 6s per se. Um, and you know, iOS 12 of course works just as smooth. Um, pulling news feed information, there's no lag. Um, when I load up things like Safari at the same time, we can see that iOS 12 loads pages just a bit quicker, again with no reduction in scrolling speeds. Um, things like, uh, let's load up Facebook here. <clears throat> so in this case, iOS 11 runs quicker than iOS 12, but there's also a few things that you guys have to take in consideration that even though they're the same phone in the same room on the same Wi-Fi network that, you know, SS, RSSI levels can be slightly different that could contribute to the slowness. Um, but the point of the test is just relative. We can load up YouTube and see how that fares. iOS 12 being a little bit quicker. See how fast it loads video. The compact car needed a revolution. Inside and out. And here it is. Because who said a compact couldn't do big things? So Who said it wasn't supposed to drive like this? Or look like that? We think it's time a compact gave you so much more. So they're both actually exactly the same. As far as lagginess is concerned, right? You know, I can open up messages here, right? And I can start typing. Um, 
you know, their iOS 12, you know, is just as responsive as iOS 11. In fact, iOS 12 seems to respond to keyboard inputs just a little bit quicker than iOS 11 for uh, one does. Uh, we can do a similar test here in notes, right? Um, you can touch it here, space, 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 type, 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 right? Again, iOS 11 and 12 feel very similar with iOS 12 having a slight edge in terms of typing performance. Um, loading up the weather app, iOS 12, again, being the winner by a hair, loading photos, the same. We can load up the camera app through Control Center, see which one comes up quicker. iOS 12 again, having the slight edge. And in terms of shutter lag, about the same. Again, with iOS 12 maybe feeling just a tad bit more responsive. Um, let's see here, we can load up things like Calendar. Again, they come up at the same time. So the point here is that when Apple made the emphasis on performance, um, they certainly weren't joking when they said that, you know, iOS 12 would run, run really good on other devices. Um, as far as shutting down is concerned, um, iOS 12 is marginally faster. We can do this test. You can see the spinning wheel pop up here in a sec, right there. That's off. So, and that one's finally off. So again, you can see like a four to five second lag in terms of um, powering on, powering off, and then just a tiny bit quicker when you're loading things like Facebook, messages, cameras, Safari, etc., etc. So the big question really comes down to is, should you upgrade to iOS 12? I would say absolutely yes. I've been running it since the 17th with no issues. My phone doesn't run hot. My battery life is just as good. And of course, I get to take advantages of the new features and enhancements, and more importantly, the security features of iOS 12. Um, again, devices supported is iPhone 5S, iPad Mini 2, iPad Air 1, and iPod Touch 6 generation. So there you guys have it, iPhone 6S Plus, both exactly the same configuration, this one being a hair faster than the 11.4.1 version. So for those that are worried, go ahead and upgrade to iOS 12. You get more features, you get better security, you get better speed with the same battery performance. Let's actually see how iOS performs on an actual old device. Um, what I have here is my old iPad mini 2. Uh, it was previously running iOS 11.4.1, uh, and the experience of it was nothing short of crap. Um, it worked, but it was super laggy, it was insanely slow, and it was relegated to babysitting duties, and I've given this to my child to use for the most part to watch YouTube videos and play their games. Um, but I decided to give iOS 12 a shot because Apple made that commitment that performance would be improved and I'm going to say that I'm actually really shocked at how responsive this tablet is. Um, when I used to do app switching, it would be insanely slow, uh, load times would take quite some time and battery life, well, you know, it was okay, but it just wasn't all that quick. But right now, you can see with iOS 12 that app switching is super smooth, the animations and the movements are fluid and the keyboard that once was insanely laggy um, is actually very responsive. As a matter of fact, I would have thought this was an iPad Mini 4 and not a Mini 2. So before I type, you could see things behave really slow. And now this is a test that the iPad is exceptionally responsive. Um, scrolling on web pages is super easy. Um, or I shouldn't say super easy, it's super fluid, it's actually a significant improvement. Now, I don't have an iPhone 5S to try or an iPod 6 generation or an iPod Touch 6 generation to test this on, but I believe you guys should get the gist. This iPad Mini 2 is one of the last devices being supported by the latest iOS, and it runs perfectly. So, if you guys are wondering, it's definitely a worthy upgrade. I think iOS 12 offers better security, better performance, greater features, and if your iOS device supports it, definitely go and upgrade it. 
Um, Apple's only going to make it better at this point in time. They've made that commitment to reduce waste uh, and to keep devices in operation much longer without impairing experiences um, of older iOS devices. So there you guys have it. iOS 12 works pretty darn good on both newer and older devices. And of course, it will work fine on brand new devices. Um, it is definitely a worthy upgrade. You've got better security. You've got better features. You've got just a better overall experience. And I think that for a free upgrade, um, it's actually made old devices feel like new again, which is very rare in iOS updates. I hope you found this video useful and informative. If you like it, consider giving me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.